These are sweet socks. What makes them sweet is they fit your feet, but also when they come off the machine, they're done. There's no closing toes and there's no having to hand close or hand finish your top edge. Everything's done on the machine. That includes a toe up, no sew toe. We're going to show you in a way that you can knit along in making your no sew toe, switching over to a one by three rib, making your foot, taking half your rib stitches back and putting them into a knit formation on the cylinder, shaping your heel with a one up two down just the same as you shape your toe no holes here continue with not having any ribbing on the back half of the sock for 15 rows after the heel is shaped then going back and putting those back stitches into the one by three rib we'll do that for 30 rows and then we'll put in and every other needle rib for 30 rows and then we will latch tool off our top edge to give us this nice knit pearl, knit pearl, knit pearl hand cast off edge and when we take this off the machine we will have a completed sock do it one more time exactly the same way you did it the first time and you'll have a beautiful matched pair Come and join me and do our knit along for the sweet socks. Started is to place in our cast on sack. Now a cast on sack has a tie at the bottom and I mark it with some fabric paint as to what machine it's for and m and is for the master machine. 72 is the number of slots in the cylinder. It has the tie at the bottom so that we can undo it to take out, out soft weights. And soft weights are just that. They're soft, but they weigh four pounds. And they come in three and a half, and two and a half, one and a half pounds, and four pounds. On our cast on sack, I do this generally without tools. We'll show you that later. Just keep it free and just stick it down inside. Now we're ready. We have our yarn guide to the back, right at the back half. If you'll notice, this is a target needle on this side and the other target needle is on this side. And it sits kind of right in between. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to lift my needles and it'll be exactly half. And I'll finish the row that I'm currently on, bring the yarn guide to the back half a little ways past so that I can see the half mark. And then I'll be clipping right at the half mark, right where that's at. That leaves the perfect length of tail.